Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message. Now before we get into that, I have a lot of really cool announcements. First and foremost, the upcoming lives. One of them is going to be on quantum dreaming and then I'm going to start a series on how to read oracle cards. I've been doing this for decades, so <laughs> it will be a live event. We can do it face to face. You can ask your questions. We can do card readings for one another. And someone suggested that we do an Angel Souls pajama party hangout. So I think that's a great idea and I'm going to get that scheduled very soon. So in addition to that, please remember that with personal readings, we do have Valentine's Day coming up and I get this question all the time or really it's more of a comment. I don't see where you offer love readings. I don't see where you offer Akashic Records readings. There's just one. You're really uh, just purchasing or requesting the time slot. Okay, so how you want me to approach it, what you want to know, that's up to you. Just put it in the submission form. I'll see it and we will do your love reading. We'll do the Akashic Records reading, angelic guidance, your career, whatever it is that you want to look at. So go to angelsouls444.com for that. Now, I do have a lot of new clients in here. And so I think it's important to mention that when you put your reading requests in, when you get a receipt from PayPal or Stripe, however you paid, that is confirmation that your reading has come through. So you're good. All right. Now, if you do have further questions and I don't mean, hey, where's my reading? Please respect, <laughs> please respect that boundary. OK, like it doesn't do anybody any good to come in and keep hounding someone when you just put in your reading request and there are many, many people ahead of you who are being patient. All right. But if there is an issue, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Don't use the submission form on the website. That goes off to the reading list. So I may not see it. I've been lucky so far, but <laughs> there have been plenty of them where I assumed it was a reading request and it wasn't. It was a question. So just be mindful of that. And I think that's it. Oh, and I'm going to be doing a predictions video. I know. I will go through the whole thing in the beginning of that video. And there was so much that that's been coming up in the past few days. I was going to write it down and do it that way. There was too much to write down. So I'm just going to hit record and let it go. <laughs> just let the predictions come on out. But again, I will explain uh, how all that works, especially when it comes to angels, because angels are not predictive. But I will explain all of that. OK. All right. So there's all the announcements out of the way. Let's get into the message here. Things are unlocking and it feels like people are having new opportunities come in. So there could be a sudden turnabout. There can be, I don't know, like for, well, it's going to be different for everybody. That's why I say personal readings. Okay. <laughs> Go to my website, but you know, it feels like for some people there's, you know, I'm heading this direction and then here's this opportunity I never would have thought about. Right. So there's something new, a new approach, or you might have a, an epiphany all of a sudden that you don't want to conduct your life in a certain way or yeah, don't be stubborn. Don't be stubborn. Whenever you see this video, don't think you got everything all figured out. You don't. OK, so <laughs> leave yourself open for good opportunities. OK, we have we have. Breathe. We'll talk about that. This one wanted to come out too. divine order. All right. You are safe. I was wondering. OK, I'll explain here in a second. Let me just get the cards and spread your wings. Okay, so there's the unexpected opportunity coming on in. With all of these together, this, I was feeling like there could be some shakeups. Like, we don't need to say that every week, right? <laughs> there's gonna, there's gonna be shakeups around the world. Um, we know that there have been massive layoffs in a lot of big companies. Um, there's talk that there's more to come, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But this starts out with Breathe, and it's Archangel Raphael. If you guys watched my 2024 energy update overview, and I would definitely watch that along with the predictions, you know, to get the full picture. The the whole messaging there was like, oh, everything's going to be coming up and we're in that destruction phase. So things are going to be falling apart and it's going to seem really awful, but it's a blessing. OK, so this is Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. That's the ticket. <laughs> right? That's the ticket. We are trying too hard 
to control things. And I'm getting the image of like, think of like grade school age kids who are coming out, they've got maybe a homework project and they don't know how to approach it, but they're gonna work together and they're just, you know, really, really trying. Let's say they're gonna build a, a tree house, okay? And they're trying so hard, but they keep dropping the wood. They don't know how to get it up in the tree. They don't have the right supplies and they're just struggling. And then maybe someone who's an adult now, but made, <laughs> got some guidance when they were young about how to make a, a tree house comes along and says, here, this is how you do this, right? So that guidance is coming along. So if you get stuck in your ways, if those kids were to go, no, we're independent and we're gonna do this on our own, <laughs> right? They're missing the opportunity for that help. That's what this feels like. So breathe into the circumstances. It's not going to be permanent. It's not going to define you anything like that. So then we have, I'm finding it hard to breathe myself. And I don't know what that is. It was like when I started recording, like I couldn't catch my breath. I mean, <laughs> that it, there's a lot of energy here, okay? There's a lot of heightened energy because obviously I tune in before I even start recording. So we'll see where that goes. Anyway, this is Archangel Raguel, playing nice with others, cooperation, and this says divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Again, that, that idea of a blessing in disguise and things are having to happen in the way that they are to balance. See the scales? It's to balance things out. Now, if you're one of those types of people who every time, like you're just not good with change, right? Every time something starts stirring up, you know, you start panicking and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that to yourself. This needs to happen. So when I was hearing about all the layoffs that were going on, I feel very bad for the people who've been laid off. And a lot of them were laid off in a really kind of um, not okay kind of way, you know, but I'm happy for them at the same time, because I think this is just evidence of you've been giving too much to that and you're needed elsewhere. And I know that might sound like, oh, please give me a break. No, <laughs> if something ends, especially a career, it is because you are needed elsewhere. You need to be around different kinds of people as well. That's Raguel, right? Coming together and Raphael for that matter too, because Raphael is all about soulmates. So coming together, learning our lessons from one another, and it's time for a shift, okay? Now, <laughs> let's all breathe, okay? <laughs> you are safe. So again, speaking to people who get stuck in their ways, they're afraid of change, they don't trust anything. This is Archangel Michael coming through and saying, cut that old way loose. It's not serving any of us anymore. It's not in anyone's highest good. And you are safe through these changes, okay? It says, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. Now, some of you, it feels very heavily about finances, career, money. So if some of you are actually fearful about, God forbid, losing your home or something like that, even if you did, even if that did happen, something better is coming along. Something is going to come along and it's going to be, you're protected in that way. Okay, so it's moving you in a direction that you need to be going in. And this helps you once you release all of that old stuff, you can spread your wings and start to create a new existence. But this is interesting in that we're going to be even more sort of connected to the collective. So we're, it's this feeling of we're all in this together. This could be, watch the predictions, okay? But <laughs> this could be, um, you know, big corporations, uh, government institutions just really trying it and saying, yeah, we messed up, so we're going to make you pay. And the people stand up, we're all together in this, and we say, nope, we're not playing your games anymore. All right? So this is Archangel Ariel. So she's all about material manifestation, being protected in that way, having your home, right? Feeling safe within your own skin. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. You have to let some of these things crumble and fall apart so that you are free to move into this next chapter, all right? And you can do it, whether, you know, we're talking about dreams and people wanting to go after their dreams. We're in such interesting times because this is more like, I, I've said to people before, you know, this is more like reevaluating 
your dreams. So instead of coming from the intellect, the ego consciousness and saying, I want to do X, Y, and Z because it'll make me look fancy or, (laughs) you know, then I could make a lot of money and I wouldn't have to be under the control of a bank or what have you. And that's all well and good, but your happiness, your spiritual well-being is of the utmost importance. So if you have to go to a soul-sucking job to make ends meet, what good is that? Okay, yeah, you, you get to make your ends meet or you can get more creative about how you live. We were just talking in a live last night about how people are doing that. So let's see what the color card is. almost dropped the deck you know all right oh cherry live an extraordinary life the number is nine nine is saying job well done move on okay move on like you you <laughs> school's out <laughs> come on out. go home okay you can go go live your best life but there are a lot of things that have to happen for us to get to that so i'm not saying that this week or the week from the moment you see this that it's all perfection, this brand new job opportunity comes in, it could, but you know, this is saying make your happiness, your joy, your peace, the highest priority and let everything else kind of fall into place as it will. Okay. Don't force anything. Definitely do not be overthinking things. That's what gets a lot of us stuck. (laughs) I do that all the time. That's me. That's totally me. Um, but If you can focus on that, be at peace, you know, you can get kind of a feel for uh, something is coming, but even if you can't tell exactly what it is, the universe is trying to work with you. If you think you know everything, can't tell you anything, right? Like, (laughs) like you just got it all together, you're going to miss it, all right? Don't miss it. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.